Beckham isn't here, but we've got a replacement for him. He's probably one of the greatest players to have played, obviously, for Leeds, but I'd say probably in the world over the last few years. The current holder of the Golden Boot. So here's the England captain, Kevin Sinfield. Sinfield, the greatest kicker in Leeds history. The hero of Headingley. It's really nice to be here. Um, I think my role in all of this is to try and find a goal kicker at the end of today. Before I want to talk about goal kicking now, I just thought it would be good to share some things with you that I've picked up throughout my career. What I want to talk to you about is about your attitude. A big part of this is, um, I think it's really easy to be in a classroom or out on your sports pitch or at home with mums and dads or wherever you may be, but while there's somebody in authority looking after you, whether it be a PE teacher, uh, your parents, like I've just touched on, it's really easy to do as you're told. It's really easy to um, tell your bedroom, do your homework, come in and behave properly, um, do the right thing when you're out on the field. But how do you behave when the backs are turned? What do you do when nobody's watching? And uh, that's self-discipline for me. Can you do the things that you need to do? Can you do the things that your sport or your studies require you to do when there's not a teacher looking over or a mum and dad or a coach? Um, I have preferred to, to be really disciplined and, and uh, stick in with it. I think Kevin's speech there was inspirational to some of the students and to the staff as well in that what he was saying came across and he was honest and he was thoughtful and I think the students and I know myself got a lot from it, it was very inspirational. You're going to get set, setbacks, you're going to get kicked in the teeth from time to time and how do you respond to that? I've got a little example of this and um, I've used it with Leeds actually. It's about the Chinese bamboo plant. Now you're going to think I'm some weirdo here who who's all into trees and plants, and I'm not at all, but uh, this tree when it's planted is about a metre tall, and don't have any shoots and leaves on it, and it doesn't grow in its first year, in fact it doesn't do anything in its second, third or fourth year either, it just stays that tall, but in its fifth year, in a period of six weeks, it grows to be 90 feet tall. So the question that I'd ask on the back of that is, you know, is it, is it that six weeks where it's suddenly started to grow, or is it all that five years beforehand where it's had all the sunlight and all the water and all the nutrients out of the soil that have made it grow, and I think it's a great lesson for us all that perseverance is really important and, and uh, sticking to it and know that at time, from time to time you're not going to get the answer you want, you're not going to get the result you want, you're going to get kicked in the teeth, you're going to, have to, you're going to be told you have to start it again, you're going to get things ripped up in your face, and it's how you deal with that. After the speeches.